All right, hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. We're going to be back in Unreal Engine 4, and we're going to finish up the shooting range that we've been working on. So let's get started. We have everything basically done in terms of the mechanics. Uh, we have the game starting, we can spawn, and we have scores that come up on screen, and that's pretty much it, but we basically want to have kind of like an end game kind of condition. We want you to be able to reset the game, start over, stuff like that. So that's what we're going to work on, and then we're also going to work on cleaning up our blueprints. So first things first, let's go ahead and set this up. So what we're going to do, instead of it on event, event begin play, uh, we're going to have the game timer, uh, that 59 second timer, we're going to have that start from a custom event. So let's create a custom event, we'll call this game start, or game timer start. Play from start. And we need to call this in the My Character section. Because uh, when we first shoot, that's when I want the game to start. Or when we first ask for a disc to spawn, that's when I want it to first start. So first we need to get a reference to the HUD class. So we're going to do an event begin play. Drag that out. We're going to do get all actors of class. And we're going to do My HUD. Or not. Let's try just HUD. We're gonna get. We're gonna cast to my HUD. I feel like there should be an option for my HUD in here. Yeah, there it is. So we're gonna do my HUD, cast that, and then we're just gonna promote this to a variable. I'm just going to call this HUD reference. Drag that up a bit just so it's not in the way. But now that we have a HUD reference, let's go ahead and compile. Let's control left click drag the HUD reference. And we're going to do uh, game. What was it called? Oh, we forgot to co compile in here. So let's compile our HUD and try again. Oops. So it starts game, timer, start. So we have that. Um, but we want a few conditions to take place. So let's first let's grab a sequence. Put that in. And then from the first uh, pin of the sequence, we're going to do a do once. And then from the second pin, we're going to plug it into the B is disk alive, kind of like how we had it before. But in the do once, that's where we're going to start the game timer. And we also need to make a custom event in here. We're going to call this uh, reset game. Uh, we'll do reset shooter game. Plug it into the reset. Compile that. And let's go back into the HUD now. Let's we have an event begin play here. We're going to get a reference to the character. So we're going to get get actors of class. My character. Get cast to my character. We're going to promote a variable here. Just call this character reference. Now we got that. And we want to basically reset the game once the timer is finished. So let's grab a character reference. Let's do reset shooter game. And we're also going to reset some variables here as well. Uh, we're going to do player score. We'll set that to zero. Actually, no, we're not going to do that here. Let's do that over here or on the game timer start. So HUD reference. Let's 
get player score. Or I'm sorry, let's set player score. Set player score. Set that to zero at the start of the game. Uh, but we gotta reset the seconds, so we'll grab the seconds, set it to 59. And also in the default settings of the seconds variable, it's set to zero right now. Let's set that to 59 as well. Let's connect these guys up. And let's compile everything. Let's play. Let's see if it behaves the way we want. So right now it's at 59 seconds. Score is at zero. When we press space, the counter starts. We can start playing the game. We're going to play this for about a minute. We're going to see if the game the timer stops. Let's get as high of a score as we can. All right, so it's back. It resets the timer. We're at 59 seconds. And if I hit space, resets my score and the timer goes off again. So that's pretty much working. So we got a working game now. We just don't really have any kind of flashy things. We're saying game start, game finish, high scores, saving high scores. We're not going to really do that um, just because, like, we've done that before in the past. You know, if you want to add that in, go ahead. I have other tutorials that I'll show you. Basically, how to save games, how to save data, things like that. Um, but the last thing we're going to do is just comment some things out. We'll make things organized here. So just highlight everything here uh, in the My Character where we get the HUD class. Hit C to comment, and we'll just say get My HUD class information. Highlight the newer parts here. We'll cut comment, reset game. Let's do this as well. Section here spawns the desk. So that's what we really need to highlight there. Um, and you can also group your variables if you want to. Uh, but it's not really important too. But like in here, if you just put category, you can make your own categories, just like you know, class reference variables, Boolean variables. You can just organize it that way if you want to. It's not too necessary. Um, but let's also go back in here. Let's go into our HUD, comment the top one, uh, get my character reference information. Game timer logic. Draws individual disk value, disk score values to HUD. So that's this section here where we have the matinee, draws, everything like that. Uh, we can also just move it so it lines up. We'll also drag this one back so it covers that. Also, we have this one that has delta time if we need it. We'll just comment that so it gets delta time. And then we have the disk. So we have this one here. Get character and the HUD class references. can do this too. Make sure, uh, wait, no. Checks to see if, 
Let's see. It checks to see if it. How should we label this? I wonder. Check to see if projectile. Yeah, projectile hits disk. Gets distance. Player and disk calculate score it converts world space to screen space. So we got everything we wanted commented, we got everything working. So again, uh, this is the last episode of this series. I hope you guys were able to learn a lot. Uh, just about the code, how to my classes, kind of how to make your own game. Uh, even if it's as simple as this, um, definitely use the information that I gave you in this video to do a lot more than what I did here. And you can use this information to do, you know, even more in-depth games, different mechanics, things like that. Uh, so again, this is the end of this series. If you liked it, then definitely like these videos. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Definitely comment as well in the description to let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any, uh, I guess, suggestions or critiques or anything like that, just let me know about that. Uh, so again, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.